we thank you for choosing Beer IVF for your treatment of IVF. So, what are the steps involved in the process of IVF or in vitro fertilization? The first step involves the control ovarian stimulation, in which the female partner is given injection at least for 11 to 12 days to get the optimum number of oocytes. The second step involved the own pickup. This is a surgical procedure and requires general anesthesia which is done in the IVF OT where the resultant oocytes are retrieved with the help of ultrasonography under general anesthesia and this is done in the IVF OT. The third step involves fertilization it means the here the male and female gamete are put together to form an resultant embryo. This is done by the embryologist in an IVF lab. It can be done by the process of in vitro fertilization or more advanced intracytoplasmic sperm injection or the process called as ICSI which is mostly used for the male partner or where the count is very less or motility is very less. The third step involved the transfer of resultant embryo inside the uterus. This is called as the process of embryo transfer. If the resultant embryo are more or the patient have uh, chances of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome or the embryo is not synchronous with the uh, endometrium, then these embryos are not transferred and these embryos are stored by the process which is called as vitrification. And these embryos can be thawed in the next cycle when the uh, endometrium is synchronous or when the uh, hormonal level in the female body comes at the normal level.